real estate has been very very good to me. Hi, this is Rick Batista with the Batista Group of JJ Real Estate Management here to bring you a market update for the week of October 3rd, 2022. Uh, this is information and data provided by the Chicago Association of Realtors. Uh, it is for the week ending September 24th, just last week. Uh, I will share some fascinating numbers with you. We're not going to go over the entire report, uh, but you can certainly reach out to me, um, get a copy of this report as well as talk about it in greater depth. Um, and we can also talk about to see what is uh, pertinent to you in your own situation and how this information may pertain to you. Uh, Chicago is an area of uh, a, a city of 77 areas and I think close to 180 neighborhoods. Uh, so it, is a, it tends to be a very hyper local market. Uh, so what's happening in one area may not be happening in another. Uh, even what's happening in one neighborhood within an area may not be happening in another neighborhood within that same area. Um, and this is for residential property only. So this is not including multi-unit, multi-family, commercial property, mixed-use property, uh, just for detached and attached single-family homes, attached being condos and townhomes, if I haven't said that yet. Uh, fun fact here before we dive into the numbers, uh, lumber prices plunged to their lowest level in more than two years. Uh, that definitely has been a topic of discussion uh, over the last couple of years during the during and throughout the pandemic. So uh, lumber having a direct impact by the housing market. Uh, go and get it while you can. Uh, instead of get it while it's cold, get it while it's or get it while it's hot, get it while it's cold. I guess. Huh? Uh, new listings year over year changed. Attached market was down by three point two percent. Attached down much farther by thirty three point three percent. Under contract, we saw a detached market a year over year change of 15.6% uh, decline, while the attached uh, declined even further by 22.2%. Homes for sale year over year, we can stop complaining about uh, the amount of inventory we have out there. 5.5% uh, increase uh, last week, with uh, and that was for detached single family homes, attached seeing a drop of 27.6%. Uh, new listings hit in the market last week, 448, which was uh, brought us to a, a three-month average of 440. Uh, very little change year over year, by uh, just by a drop off of 0.4%. Single-family attached homes, we finished the week with 559, three-month average of 615, which was a decrease of 25.7%. Looking at this historical chart, which actually takes us back to 20, uh, 2007, uh, we take a look at the last couple of years. Uh, we can see where all the insanity was in those pockets in 2020 and, uh, when things started to kind of, uh, uh, it was just a very, very interesting year, 2020. It's uh, the new normal. So we're still trying to find out what that, that may mean. Uh, but we certainly are starting to see things um, return to pre-pandemic um, times. Uh, but looking here where the market just got insane, uh, dropping off uh, around the holidays and the spring market really starting in the winter uh, in this year and last year. Uh, this chart is certainly de demonstrating that. Uh, throughout the year, we had a pretty good market all throughout and then a little bit of slowdown at the end of the year. And then we started off the year strong um, with the interest rates go getting a little higher. Uh, we saw a little bit of a drop off, still active, um, but uh, but certainly slower than what we have seen in the last couple of years. Can't always get used to things because things change. That's life. Um, but we shall prevail. Uh, looking at homes under contract, we finished the week with 200 single family detached homes, a three month average of 183 and a drop off of 17.8%. Single family attached homes uh, finished off the week with 260, uh, bringing us a three month average of 272 and a drop off of 26.2%. Inventory of homes for sale uh, finished off last week with 2,975 detached single family homes, bringing us a three month average of 2,926 and seeing a year over year change uh, increase of 10.1%. Single family attached homes, 4,803 wrapped up last week, bringing us to a three month average of 4,933. And we saw in a year over year change of 25.4% uh, less. 
market time absolutely crucial um uh, you, you know when you are listing your home for sale uh, it is so important to price it right uh, that will have uh, in my opinion in my experience will have a direct impact on market time uh, and this is both for sale and for rental for those landlords out there um, but uh, we don't have information yet for September but we did wrap up the month of August with 41 days being the average market time uh, for a detached single family home throughout the Chicago land area uh, average for the last 12 months was 49 days in the market, a decrease of 17.9% year over year. Uh, attached single family homes, we finished off the month of August with 53 days in the market, average of 72 days, and a decrease year over year of 5.4%. Very different market times going back over the years. Different times. Uh, median sales price, we finished up the month of August uh, for detached single family home, median sales price of 310000 And over the last 12 months, 314K, uh, increase of 1.3%. Please keep in mind, this is a median sales price. It is not the average sales price. So median sales price, meaning the equal number of homes sold for more than and less than this amount. Single family attached homes, we saw August wrap up with 320000 uh, median sales price for an attached single family home in the Chicago land area over the last 12 months, 351, uh, with an increase of 0.3% year over year. And percent of original list price received this is the last category we're going to cover um, in this video. Uh, we finished off the month of August with 97.5%, uh, average being 98.3% year uh, over the last 12 months. A uh, slight decrease of 0.4%. And for attached single family homes, we saw the percent of original list price received being 97.4%, with an average of 97.8% for the last 12 months, a slight increase of 0.4%. You know, as a realtor, I always get asked when's the best time to buy, when's the best time to sell. And certainly the market can help dictate uh, or help guide you, I should say as to when you should consider selling or when you should consider buying. But it really boils down to your own situation. Um, you know, even though the interest rates were low, you just weren't in a position to buy at that time. So perhaps uh, renting was a better option for you. Uh, and maybe, you know, you wanted to sell while the market was hot, but you had to wait till your kid finished school. Uh, you know, it just all depends what your situation is. Uh, if you're looking to have a conversation to help get some guidance and help gather some data and information, um, you know, just feel free to reach out. I'm always here to help. Uh, our contact information is below. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you made it this far, I applaud you and I appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.